Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll take you through how I do my weekly water change. First step is to drain the water from the tank. I unreel the hose and attach it to the quick release connector of my drain pump hose. Here I'm switching on the drain pump. While the tank is draining, I clean the front and side panels. The drain pump I use is a Sunsun JTP9000 rated at 70 watts. It pumps out the water at a nice steady rate. This beats the siphon method which is comparably much slower. And on a large tank like mine, this saves a lot of time and hassle. At each water change, I drain about 30% of the tank, which is about 160 litres. This takes just under 15 minutes to complete the first step. The second step is to fill the aquarium back up. I switch on the pumps that are in the containers. This pumps the treated water from the four containers back into the aquarium. Each container holds approximately 40 litres of water. I had this water change system in mind before I built my aquarium. I wanted to make this weekly process as simple as possible. Later in this video, I'll explain how I treat the water and why I believe it's important to treat the water before adding it to your aquarium. For this second part, the entire filling process takes less than 4 minutes. So essentially, the weekly water change takes me about 20 minutes to complete. The last step is to fill the containers back up. Here I'm adding two different types of dechlorinators, about 1 ml each. And then adding a small amount of aquarium salt. Time to fill the containers back up and let the water mature before the next water change. I use a 4-way water divider which has the same quick release connector, which makes it easy to connect and disconnect. It has four individual ball valve switches which allow me to adjust the flow rate independently. It takes about 15 minutes to fill all four of the containers. I prefer treating the tap water before adding it back into the aquarium. I know many aquarium keepers fill their tank with tap water and add the dechlorinators directly into the tank. Personally, I don't prefer this method for a few reasons. Even though the dechlorinators work quickly, it is not instant. So there will be pockets of untreated water in your aquarium until the dechlorinators bind the chlorines and chloramines. And this might take several minutes and even longer to completely neutralize the heavy metals in the water. 
So during this time, it may cause some damage to your biological system and medias. As for the fish, if it's a hardy fish, I guess it's okay. They might be able to tolerate this fluctuation. But hopefully they are not unwell or sick during that particular water change session. Another reason is that tap water temperature is usually very different from the aquarium water temperature. This again is a potential fluctuation of water parameters. Here are the two water conditioners I use. I measure them into applicator bottles which are originally used to dispense medication. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you found something useful for your own setups. In the next video, I'll do the weekly water change for my daughter's goldfish tank. The water filling device is unique and optimum for small aquariums. Do stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.